Okay, Hayley, hello. Uh, although actually Hi. I feel like I should say hello, Kate Bishop, but you're probably going to get an awful lot of that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, congratulations on uh, on Dickinson. And of course, up until the first season of Dickinson, actually your acting career was very much geared towards movies. Why did you make the move to TV and why Dickinson in particular? Well, uh, it seems as though a lot of things are and have been shifting um, as far as the, the TV space goes. It's just been so, um, I mean, it's expanded so much in the last few years. Um, and, you know, these streaming services are, are um, where it's at. Uh, and as a fan of, of, of them, um, it, feel, it felt like just something I was just genuinely curious about and interested in. And with, with Dickinson, being Dickinson and being as special as it is um, and being on and a part of the launch of Apple TV plus um, just felt like something really special and exciting um, to have, you know, Apple TV plus be a whole new venture for them, a whole new venture into the TV space for myself as well. It just, again, was just a, a very exciting moment. Um, and I remember speaking to Elena Smith, the creator and writer of the show for the first time and hearing her, I mean, just amazing breakdown of what this show was and felt like and looked like and, and, and all of that. Um, and I just was, I just knew it was something I, I had to be involved in. And of course, you're staying with TV for Hawkeye. I wondered if there was something in the format as well of TV that because you're dealing with a number of episodes, it allows you to dig, dig a bit deeper with your character. It does. You know, it's funny. I, I find myself comparing, you know, obviously experiences to previous experiences and now having lived in this sort of TV space for a minute. And then, like you said, with the format of um, director switching and going episode by episode and, and, and having that opportunity to sort of, yeah, dig deeper as you go and make more discoveries as you go um, with, with this sort of with Dickinson, though, I mean, they, they do feel like, and maybe it's because it is what I'm more familiar with um, as far as movie making, if they feel like making a movie. Um, luckily with Dickinson, we had all of the scripts in advance and, and you're able to see the arc of the character, but, but going episode by episode and having new directors and having a new, clean, fresh perspective every couple of weeks is something that was <laughs> difficult for me in the beginning, but I really learned to love it and embrace it and, and um, appreciate it. So... It's, uh, it's definitely something in the format that's, that's exciting and, and different and new for me. Now, Emily Dickinson in the series and indeed in real life was very wary of being well-known and famous. Mm. Um, you, on the other hand, have over 13 million followers on Instagram. <laughs> um, what's that like for you? And if Emily was around today, how do you think she would react to that? It's a question that we've been asking ourselves for a couple of years now. Uh, and I'm sure Elena, even more than that. So I imagine, I imagine she would handle it like a badass. I think she would have a very witty Twitter. I think there would be tweets that I would retweet all the time without question. Um, but more importantly, I, I do think that Maybe it's easy to think this way because Emily's poetry is so appreciated now. Um, and to have this show be what introduces or reintroduces people to her work, um, I think that she would feel hopefully very proud um, and, and loved and embraced because she is. I think that it's what's so wonderful about season two is we really dig into that thought process of of how scary it can be, the the idea of fame. And I think a lot of people contemplate that now because fame is is um, much more easy to achieve than it was in Emily's time. Um, and uh, it's a scary thing. It's an easy thing to ask for, and it's a scary thing to, to sort of comprehend and break down and then possibly get rid of if once you have it, if you decide you don't want it. So the whole thought process of Emily and seeing that in season two is, is what makes it really exciting. It's just really being there for it. Hayley, lovely talking to you. And like I said, thoroughly enjoyed Dickinson's great series. Thank you Thank very you. much indeed for your time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You too. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.